Hello guys, I wanted to make another informative video about refrigeration. Uh, this time it's about a deep freeze. Uh, this one standing right next to me is a project of mine. It belongs to one of my friends. Uh, they asked me to look at it for them. Uh, it used to be a 134A. Uh, cool master. It's a display deep freeze. So it has glass doors. I just stack these pillows on top here just to um, keep the cold in better. So uh, the problem was it was quite heavy on electricity and um, they brought it, I put my clamp heat on, it done about uh, 2.6 amps of electricity which was a little bit steep for the size. I'm going to pick up the phone and show you around what I've done to it. Uh, I found out that there was a slight blockage inside the piping system inside the fridge. Uh, this is quite normal with old fridges. Once this happens, um, you can try it blown open. I put about 150 bars of pressure on it. I couldn't get it out. I used trigol ethylene. It's a dissolvent that you pump into the system that uh, um, evaporates quite quickly. And it didn't work. So I put brand new piping on the inside. I used a six millimeter or quarter inch copper pipe, coiled it on the inside. And uh, I'm gonna show you. And I put a brand new compressor in, also R600, that's kind of my thing. 50% difference between 134A and that. So uh, let me pick up the phone and show you what I did. Right, so first things first, let's take these pillows off. Right, just a normal glass door. I'm just gonna swing it open. Just show you nicely what I've done. As you can see, there's all the piping down here. That's where the suction line comes in, right at the bottom. And it goes to an accumulation chamber that I made that is out of three, uh, three quarter inch uh, copper tube. I just bent the sides over and I just welded it shut. Uh, I spiraled the pipes all the way around and up. Came down here. And there you can see there's my capillary that's joined in. It's about a hundred millimeters in and it's welded shut there. Um, and over there you can see the thin wire coming up. That's for the thermostat. I've picked it up one, two, three pipes and I've cable tied it on there. So it's not all the way down at the bottom so you, because your cold settles at the bottom. And overnight this is uh, water that I've put in a five liter bucket. and frozen solid so it works lovely these fridges are not normally very efficient because of the fact that they um, lose a lot of their cold through the glass doors but um, I don't know how well you can see here there's the new compressor there's the capillary tube there's about a 1.5 meter length of capillary tube it's thicker than the normal standard 0.66 welded in new dryer and here's the main power that comes in got my clamp meter here just to show you where we are just over 1.7 amps it's just kicked on again the fridge so there's the pressure gauge uh, there we go it's basically just borderline of zero psi which is actually quite brilliant um, it's extremely low pressured and here you can see there's my uh, electronic thermometer it's on minus seven minus five point seven degrees right now and it's going down minus six point three so that's falling quite rapidly very interesting uh, it goes down to about minus fifteen degrees which is perfect switches on again around minus three minus four degrees so this is quite cheap way of doing it. You can see the, uh, the this is just pop rivets, normal aluminum pop rivets, and uh, this is a galvanized plate that I've used just to hold the piping down so that it so that it can't pull loose or something gets stuck to the fridge on the inside. There's quite a few of them in there, as you can see. It doesn't look super cool, but it works wonderfully. Whenever there's problems in the future, again with it. Uh, it's not a big deal to sort that out. Just if you don't believe me, here's the manufacturer's plate. This is what the fridge used to be. Just get this thing to focus. Um, there you go. It's a 520 liter fridge. 
and there you can see it's 134A it's supposed to be 1.63 amps and it wasn't doing that it was doing about 2.6 so there we go I've made a 50% difference in this and uh, it works quite well hope this will help you guys cheers eh